Hello, I'm Chrissy Seaton. Recently, I've had some concerns um, about the appropriate guidelines and prayer books for Noahides. So I'm going to take this opportunity today to just recap on some previous information I have given you and just to reassure you of the guidelines that I strongly recommend that you follow. Firstly, uh, just revisiting again this wonderful book called The Divine Code. It's been written by Rabbi Moshe Wona and he is the foremost authority in uh, matters to do with Noahides. And I know some of you have a copy of this um, code and it is a tremendous resource which you will refer back to time and time again. Last week we were actually discussing the principles of faith and in this book, of course, on my copy, it is page 35, it talks about the 13 principles of faith. It goes through each one individually, number 1 to 13, and um, the information in there is excellent. So I just wanted to remind you all about that. So if you don't have a copy of this, I think it's something that you should put on your must-have list very soon. Along with that and accompanying the Divine Code, we've spoken before about this little booklet which is called The Prayers, Blessings and Principles of Faith and Divine Service for Noahides. So this is a small little booklet. Um, it has everything, morning prayers, evening prayers, some psalms, um, blessings over food, etc. So this is a marvellous little book. It's not expensive. Then we also have another book that is available. At the moment, this isn't available in hard copy, but you're able to order it through Kindle. And I have provided the links for you where you can go to um, avail yourself of a copy of this. And it's not expensive. I think it's about $4 or something like that on Kindle. I happen to have um, a sort of a hard copy, but it's not. I've put it in a folder of my own. But this book is particularly good that if you, for instance, are having a gathering or a meeting of Noahides um, and you want to have a, a, a sort of prayer service, then this has all the guidelines and the appropriate prayers that are for Noahides. This book has been put together um, over the page here by Rabbi Dr. Michael Shulman, um, Emmanuel Villegas and um, Kaim Reisner. And it is authorised by Rabbi Moshe Wona, who we know um, is the authority on Noahide um, teachings. So um, you can download this Kindle and it has um, lots of prayers. Again, it will duplicate some of the prayers that are in this little booklet, but there is a lot more in this in terms of if you have a meeting or a gathering and what what's appropriate to say and who says it and when. So um, that is a, a, an excellent resource for certainly for group gatherings. The other thing I just want to touch on too is that I understand that you have um, great enthusiasm when it comes to learning about the Noahide um, lifestyle and teachings and what it is to be a Noahide. But what I would just suggest that in that enthusiasm to learn, that you be vigilant about who you're actually learning from. And I say that with great respect and sincerity because you can get conflicting opinions and ideas and sometimes that's all they are, ideas and opinions. I would suggest that in your learning process you avail yourself of a good source, a rabbi that is learned and um, is well versed in the ways of uh, Noahide uh, prayers and teachings 
I always recommend, uh, there are several, this is not the only ones, but top of the list would be um, Rabbi Moshe Weiner, who, uh, again, his, um, his knowledge is magnificent. There is uh, Rabbi Dr. Michael Shulman from asknoah.org. There is Rabbi Moshe Peretz, who is the, at the Noahide Academy, the director there in Israel. And there is also, in Australia, we have Rabbi Dr. Shimon Cowan, who is a wonderful source of um, knowledge for us as well. So just be aware who you are learning from and not be tempted to sort of when you find a rabbi that's really teaching you the correct way and it's in keeping with the divine code, try to refrain from sort of switching teachers and things like that because that uh, can cause you some unnecessary confusion. So just be very wary who you learn from and that you are also very careful in your enthusiasm, not to be actually creating a new religion. And there is information available about that in the Divine Code. It has very, very clear guidelines about what constitutes a new religion and what we are to refrain from. So I just want to remind you about that. Learning is a wonderful process and I wouldn't be um, here today if it wasn't for the wonderful information I was able to gain from some brilliant rabbis and also reading some wonderful books. But I also learnt pitfalls too that not every rabbi is in agreement about certain things. And some of them... Um, can teach things that might be actually contrary to the divine code and what Noahide should be following. And I don't want that to happen to you. So just be careful. Please always remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be told when there's a new video and ask questions, leave a comment, share the video. Great to speak with you again. God bless. Bye.